Hey, it's Yolanda at Dryer Buzz, and of course, 27 Answers and 27Answers.com. And I'm really enjoying these summer podcasts and getting back into it. And so what we're doing with this, and you've seen a couple of those, we finally put out the 27 Answers to Rock Like Oprah. That seems to be your favorite, and that's where we actually broke down what it is, what are the real essence and elements of Oprah. So in this one, I really want to talk about 27 Answers to Rock your first ebook. Now, I'm going to start with ebook, but I'm also going to take you to publishing that book. And to let you know, it's really only a few more clicks. It's really only a few more things. Publishing today has has changed the entire universe. Having a book today can can change your entire universe. We're going to talk about different levels of who should be publishing. First and foremost, everybody should have a book. If you have a business card, then you should have a book. And that doesn't mean it has to be a novel. It literally should be just something that you're giving people that they're going to keep forever. When you give people some published material, they keep it forever. And it's a great icebreaker. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you to exchange information. There's so many different levels it can go. Now we're going to talk about ebook, but let's take it a little bit further and just talk about the levels of it. How does a book come into play if you're not an author? I love talking about writing and publishing when you're not an author because naturally if you're a writer, a storyteller, a blogger, uh, and so forth, it, and you have a great imagination, it's easy for you to come up with a book. You can drop a book. I can drop a book. Well, I do drop books often. I can drop a book each and every day. But what if you're a plumber? What if you have an amazing service, maybe a pest control? Uh, what if you make cupcakes? What if, um, it, the whole what if, No ma- listen, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, if you have a business card, you should have a book. You should not be just handing somebody your business card. You should be putting your business card In the book, after you sign it, whether you're going to sell it to them or give it away, I'm all for giving it away because today um, people print, uh, people get a lot of promotional items everywhere you go. There's promotional items. A lot of times we go to events and things like that. There's a grab bag. There's so many opportunities out there and. Giving someone your book is the best icebreaker. It's the best way of networking. And it's the way to get in the hands of everybody in the room, even if you don't get a chance to meet everybody, connect with everybody, um, giving them your book or your how to, how to, if you know how to do something, you should be able to tell people how to do it. And even if you can't, and listen, this is not even something that you have to write. Okay. Let's get to a real start. First and foremost, I've already got the notes. Don't even worry about taking notes. Just go to 27answers.com and download 27 answers to rock your first ebook, right? And we're going to take it from ebook to published book. How do you do that? First of all, get it done writing. If you've ever done any kind of interview, go back to that interview and get it transcribed. Okay. Don't don't even worry about doing it yourself. There are people out there that will handle these tasks for you because if you're listening to 27 Answer, you're all about going pro. You know this is a GoPro moment. This is a GoPro moment. A lot of people are using Fiverr. Their various levels of services, they, they will knock out your book cover for you. They'll transcribe any podcasts or anything like this podcast I have right now. I can take this podcast, send it to uh, a task handler on Fiverr or any other freelance networks um, and have them transcribe it for me. By the end of the day, I'll have this great material that I could upload, right? But I'm giving it to you on YouTube because I want you to go to 27answers.com and download any number of the eBooks. Uh, there's definitely a, my favorite love on 27 Answers is the six packs. The six packs, you're going to get this book within the six packs, okay? You can get one uh, at the regular price, but you can get six for the price of three. I mean, it's just that easy. I always leave with an offer. If you listen to any of our podcasts, you're going to know we always talk about leading with an offer. Okay, so how do you even come up with the book? All right, because you're not an author, you're not a writer, you're not a storyteller, but you've got a business card and you want to up, you want to up level like Yolanda just said. If you got a business card, you should have a book. You should be putting your business card inside your book after you sign it. Okay, 
All right. So how do you, what do you get the material from it? Um, do like I just did. Just turn on your recorder on your phone, on any of your favorite devices or go old school, go inside the studio. If you really want to go pro, go inside the studio and get it done and just start talking about what it is you do. Start talking about some of the best practices in what you do. Who's going to read your book? Who's your audience? Is it something, is this information you're going to share with your customers or is this information you're going to share with your peers? Okay. So there's two reasons you should have a book. One, you're a serial entrepreneur, I mean, you're a serial networker. You're always out networking or people are always asking you questions. Is anybody always asking you questions? Are they always asking you the same questions, whether they're peers or customers? Hey, how did you get your business started? You know, how did you get the funding? Where did you go? You're always out there networking, telling anybody you're the pro at what you do. And then they start asking you questions. Well, take those questions, write them down, then answer those questions. That's how you develop your content. Is it for your peers? Okay, well, what if it's for your customers? You know, those phone calls you get all the time, those emails you get all the time, those inboxes you get all the time. That's content then for an ebook. Does your your does your ebook or does your printed book need to be a thousand pages? No. Does it need to be 10, 15, but it could be any level of, especially if it's an ebook. An ebook is basically an easy, accessible download that you're going to interject in any conversation you have. Somebody hits you off in your inbox, you don't have time to ask, hey, browse this ebook. Here's the link, right? Or and I'm not saying you got to give it away for free. I'm only giving them stuff away for free if you can fully reimburse every expense. That's the podcast. Go listen to it. How to negotiate free. Right? So, somebody's in your inbox. They want to know, hey, I'm thinking about using your service. And then they, then they give you those same stack questions that everybody does. And you sit there and you answer those. Well, now, with your first ebook, you just drop them a link. Okay? And that person that doesn't want to take the step right there, that's probably not your customer. So this is how you begin to vet your customers. People who really want the information will appreciate you having an ebook or a book. People who really want the information will click the link, go and read it, and they'll come back and they say, I was reading this part. Can you explain this a little bit more? Right? And then you you keep, you know, giving links or, or having then you know that you've brought them beyond that initial consultation. They understand now that you you're pro, you're professional, and they're asking there inquiring about your service. At this point, you go ahead and go for the sale. You've done the lead. You've, you're ready to, you know, listen, hey, I'd love to answer that for you, but it will take me uh, it's into our consulting. I need to come out and see what you're working with. Whatever you need to do to go ahead and get to the, get to the sale or closing the deal. Always be working towards that. But again, we're talking about building the content. Where do you get the content for a book? You're not a writer. You're not a storyteller. You're not a blogger. Um, but you still are in business. If you got a business card, there's a story. If you've got a business card, there's a story. The question is, who wants your story? Okay. We talked about are you gonna are you gonna produce some some material for or content for your peers because you're networking and you you know that through networking that's where you get your referrals. But then let's say that you know you've got a good you've got a good um network. Because remember, as they say, your network is your net worth. You've got a great network and you're getting great referrals. But are they able to really and truly relate what it is you do? Uh, when somebody calls and says, hey, I've got a, you know, so-and-so referred me to you. Is that where does that conversation begin? Were they able to educate that new customer enough where you can really go ahead and get the business or do they come in at square one? You know, they said you do this, but what really is it? You know, they said you do this. How much really is it? Or those kinds of things. Any, any questions that you're answering repeatedly, that's what's going to go in the book. Okay. Because you want the book to do, take on part of the task so that, uh, so that you can alleviate some of those tasks and get right down to business. And, and on the other side of that, if that's for the customers, for, for the peers, if they're referring you customers and you still having to do a lot to close the sale and close the deal, then what you want to do is give them, give your um, peers enough information in this book that they can then make proper referrals because they love what you do. They enjoyed you. They enjoy you as a peer um, and you guys are making these referrals and so forth. So you want to 
Give them a, a link. Equip them. Now, naturally, if you listen to 27 Answers, you probably have an affiliate program. So that's a great tool for your affiliates, people who are making a referral to you and getting a return on that referral because you offer an incentive. Now, we're talking about on the customer side of it. Um, you can hand the customer, a potential customer, your business card. You're out. You're, you know, you're promoting your business and, and you're giving them your business card and then they've got a handful of business cards or they put the business card somewhere. Maybe you got the magnet on the fridge and, you know, and those kind of things. You got the little, all the little promotional items, maybe a hat and all these different kind of things. And people put those things somewhere and then when they need the service, they're trying to go back and find it. But if you gave them a book that maybe a book that says before you call or when you call, you know, or why you need my service. Here's all these reasons why you're going to need my service. They're going to look at that, especially if here's the biggest reason you might need you do need uh, an ebook or a book is that you've got a number of products. You've got a number of SKUs as they as they love to say. I mean you got a lot of inventory. You've got um you should have a catalog. That first ebook or that first book should literally be your catalog. If you got product and, and a bunch of different levels of product, then you should definitely have a catalog. And producing a catalog to today uh is basically all that all those pictures and things that you posted on your Instagram and on your social media uh go into go go to any app or go to any store i mean take those pictures and put it in a layout get with a copywriter again you can get those on a number of the freelance sites or you probably got a friend that's been telling you to do this forever take those pictures put a little bit more verbiage on them and and get a nice layout there are a number of li- nice layouts online number of free layouts online All of this has been done. People are doing it each and every day. It's not difficult at all. If you cannot find your way around it, there's somebody, uh, there's interns, there's students, you know, all kinds of schools out there that have that love for people to come in needing this kind of stuff because it's going to give them their portfolio for which they're going to work with. And so, you know, there's, there's no reason you should have this, right? So if you've got a number of products, let's say you're a cupcake maker and you've got a number of cakes and cupcakes and things like that. Um, you want to have a catalog. If you sell shirts, no matter what, if you've got a number of product, a, a large inventory, not a large, but even an average inventory, um, do a catalog. And I'm saying something could be five to 20 pages. We talk, this is where it is because we're in a micro society and you need to do that extra step. If you want to go pro, you need to have that extra thing. That's going to get you in the door. That's going to get you above and beyond the competition. Okay. So having a catalog that explains your services and we're talking old school, old school is back, right? Having a catalog, think about it. You're out networking, you're or you're at a, a event, you've got a table as a vendor. And how many times when you were out vending, you've got all this product out there and people are dang it, this is the first time they've seen you, they've heard about you, and they're not quite ready to buy, but they love it, or they're not buying because they're at a festival. Right. They had no intentions of they just had no knowledge that all these great vendors were going to be there. They have no intention of walking around the rest of the day carrying all this merchandise, but they do want to buy. They do want it. So guess what? Now they can take your catalog, five to ten pages, even less. A good five to five page, five pages of content is a good 10 to 15 page book. And it costs you just as much as printing some printing flyers or business cards. The expense is not that much. All right. It depends on the level of the quality that you want. Now, of course, anything that's color and glossy is not as much as it used to be. And you can get these things done in turnkey. You don't have to order cases upon cases. You've got an event. Sometimes I go to an event or I'm speaking. I may even just order 10, 15, 20 books. I don't have a garage full of books or you know, a a storage center full of books. I just order as I need because print on demand is very easy, easy to do. And it's very affordable and it makes you stand out um, among, it gets you out the back with the pack. It's going to get you out the back with the pack. It's going to help you to go from the audience to the stage because when you, when you're prepared for your networking like that, you can take more advantage of the opportunity. You're not going to be out. Oh, I'm out of business card. No, get your book done. 
get your ebook. And then remember to go from an ebook, once you've got this content done, at least five pages, at least 10 pages. Once you've got the content done, then all you have to do is print it. Okay, so let's take just a quick bit of a recap. So, why do you need an ebook? You need an ebook and you need a print book for your networking. Your book is your business card, and you need it. One of the reasons you need it as an ebook because you need to have something in a digital format. But once you complete that digital format, you got your you got your content, you're ready to get to the next step. All you have to do in order to go from an ebook to a print book is basically pick a cover, pick a spine, pick a back, and a layout. Now you've already got a good layout because your ebook, the way you lay out your ebook, it's going to work your digital book. It's going to work pretty good in your print book. And we're talking about literally like 5 to 15 pages. So it's not a lot. And remember if you don't want to do it yourself, there are many people out there that will handle this task for you because remember what we do at 27 essences we always go pro. So now you've decided that you're going to use this book as your business card, either for your peers or for your customers. So all you need to do at this point is once you go to that print from digital to print, both of those you're going to work. Cause remember now we all, and, and if you listen to any of the 27 answers, we recognize that we have three levels of customers. You got those that want something for free. You got those that want something at a convenience. And then you have your premium customer just because you're going to use your book as your business card and give it away for free in some environments doesn't mean that you can't up level even that free item and give it away as paid. Cause there's always going to be somebody that's going to want it in the mail, going to want it shipped and going to want, will want it signed. Um, but the opportunity to take it to that premium level, once you have that book, you can then take advantage of speaking opportunities. And I'm not talking, depending on what your industry is, you know, we're not talking always, you know, majorly getting in front of an audience, but even in networking, it gives you the opportunity to go from the audience to the stage and really to be able to talk about what it is you do. If you're networking, there's always an opportunity to go from the stage to the book. I mean, go from the audience to the stage but the best part about going from digital to something print is now you have an opportunity when you go when you go send when you have events you can send your book in places that you can't be your book can be present so say for instance there is a major event coming up that's particular to your industry an industry rate related event and they've got grab bags you can send a case of books let's say they've got door prizes you can put your book in the door prize right so those are the opportunities that your book can always be somewhere that you're not your book is your ticket to getting on if you want it in your industry maybe there's panels maybe there's conferences and things like that by committing and taking and going professionally and putting what you know in writing to share with others either at a free level a convenience level or a premium level that's going to be your ticket to get in the door so that's why it is you need a book and that's why you need to be rocking an ebook and when we say ebook remember we're not talking about hundreds of pages and literally an ebook can be the size of a blog post it could be um, several pages because we're talking about scrolling the country and now especially since um, ebooks are mostly read on the phone, I mean, you think about the amount of content that's actually scrollable on a phone, that gives you even more leverage to kind of shrink it down a little bit. So we're not talking about a lot. And one of the reasons you really want to rock an ebook, and this is the most important one, is because giving somebody your business card, there's not a lot of clarity there as to what your call to action is. Okay, it's call me. Okay, there's email me. But by giving them, by taking uh, adding a book to the equation, you give them an opportunity to figure out really more, to act on what your call to action really is. You know, use my services, order my products, because you get more opportunity to explain to them what it is you do, what it is you offer. And you can repeat it. And guess what? Unlike your business card, unlike any kind of promotional item, the book is something. People don't throw away books. They keep the shelf life on that. And especially if it's something that's going to 
uh, create influence for them by knowing what it is that you put it in a book. If it's going to create influence by giving them a knowledge base where they can then speak on what it is that you do and have you as a great referral source, then that's a, another opportunity, another benefit for you rocking your book. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Don't forget, you don't have to take notes. The notes are already done for you. You can go to 27answers.com and download them. And remember, even though we're talking about ebooks, we're also talking about you just taking you into the digital side. But once you get that ebook done, meaning that you've got a nice cover on it and you've got a nice layout, there's only two other pieces. Pieces you need and that is a spine and a back cover and go back to that same person that knocks out that cover for you and they'll know the right dimensions and everything that you need to go from having an ebook to a print book. When I first did 27answers.com, I put it out as a blog post. Believe it or not, I created a section on dryerbus.com called learn.dryerbus.com. I then took several articles from that section and printed those. Uh, no, actually, I turned that into an ebook because I had that convenience customer that said, Well, Dryerbus, you know, I can't always go to the blog and read and I need these answers. And so that's when I made it an ebook, put it in the digital space. But then, and that got me opportunity to go from the audience to the stage but then I knew I had a premium customer out there because they kept saying can I get a print book right so I took the um the blog post put them in the ebook and then took the ebook got a nice cover professionally designed and the layout and then I took it to a print book once I did that print book a lot of people began to take notice and not to mention buy the book. So that's a product that I will always have, especially in the blogger space, because we always get a chance to go from the audience to the stage. And it's it's wonderful at the end of the day to always have something to sell. So think about it. You don't have to be an author, writer, storyteller, or a blogger, no matter what you do. If you have a business card, then you should have a book. If you've got a number of products, then you should have a catalog. You should have it in digital form as well as you should go print. There's no difference in having an ebook and going print except for a couple more clicks. All right. Don't forget um, to go and check our YouTube channel. There's more 27 Answer podcasts there. And also follow us on 27answer.com. Come. Uh, you don't ever have to take notes. We've already written those ebooks out there for you. And all of these videos as well are there too. And don't forget, if you like to monetize your social media, you want to monetize your blogs and your podcast, 27 Answers, not only do we invite you to buy 27 Answers, there's an excellent opportunity to sell 27 Answers, and you can monetize and earn 50% commission paid weekly. Go and check it out. Just go to 27answers.com, click the menu, and select the affiliate affiliate link. If you want more great podcasts like this, click the answer blog and you can learn more with 27answers.com. I'm Yolanda at Dryer Buzz and you just got the buzz with 27answers.com by Dryer Buzz. Thanks. Now. Bye-bye.